We all experience difficulties from time to time, like ill health or bereavement, or maybe memory problems as we get older. Sometimes these difficulties make it hard to protect ourselves from those who want to take advantage. Scams, frauds and other crimes are getting more and more sophisticated. But here are things you can look out for to protect yourself and your loved ones. Be cautious about letters, calls, texts, and emails from people you don't know personally, or websites that could belong to scammers. You won't always be asked for money. Sometimes people want your personal information so they can steal your identity or access your bank account. Never give personal details to anyone who calls you out of the blue. Your bank will never ask you for your password or PIN. Again, if you're ever in doubt, call them using the number on the back of your bank card, just to make sure. But there are other types of scams too. Never deal with cold callers on the doorstep, no matter how convincing they look and sound. If they claim to be officials from the council, your housing provider or a utility company, say you're going to phone and check before you let them in. Call the organisation they say they're from using a number you found for yourself in the phone book or from a bill or statement, not the one they give you. You should also be careful of people trying to overcharge you for basic services like taxi rides or simple house repairs. Even if it's someone you know, like a neighbour. Fake lottery scams can also catch you out. If you receive a winner's letter from a competition or a lottery you've never entered, ignore it. Genuine overseas lotteries like the Irish, Spanish or Australian lotteries will never write to you to ask you to play. Sometimes people you don't really know might offer to lend you money. Loan sharks can be charming at first. It can seem as if they really want to help. But their aim is to make you pay back much, much more than you borrowed. And they'll use violence and intimidation if necessary. These are criminals so steer clear. Some people rely on care support from their families, and most of the time that's exactly what they get, tender and loving care. Sometimes, though, that's not the case. If a person can't make their own decisions because of poor mental health or dementia, relatives with the power of attorney have to make sure they use that person's money in their best interests. Using it for other purposes is wrong, even if the carer's need is great, and even if they stand to inherit that money in the long term. And if someone is able to make their own decisions, they should be allowed to, even if they've got learning difficulties, mental health problems or other special needs. Family members shouldn't exercise control they're not entitled to. Some people would be lost without the support of their paid carers, who assist with their physical needs and help to brighten up their day. Sometimes, though, things go wrong. Although it's rare, the family and friends of those being cared for need to be aware of what can happen in serious cases. A carer might be short of time, leading them to ignore their patients' calls for help. Sometimes, they might even physically mistreat them. On occasion, they might help themselves to money that isn't theirs, or slip purchases of their own into their client's shopping. If you or someone you know has been taken advantage of in any of these ways, there are things you can do about it. What's more, you get to decide whether action will be taken, as well as what kind of action and when. If you're concerned about scammers, doorstep criminals or loan sharks, contact Halton Trading Standards via the Citizens Advice Consumer Helpline. We're already working with Halton residents who've lost thousands to scams. If you're concerned about a paid or family carer, think about making a call to the Adult Social Care Line for confidential advice on what you can do. We're here if you need us. Meanwhile, let's all look out for each other.